Yo, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about men's grooming and all the products that I use. I've posted short form of this on my Instagram, but I wanna get into a little bit more details in the products that I use that'll be linked down below on my Amazon list. So let's jump right into the first thing, daily showering. Honestly, daily showering is something that people should typically know. I shower one to two times a day, and that really depends on your lifestyle because if you're going to the gym and then you're going to work, I feel like you'll probably be showering after the gym and probably showering before you go to bed. Some people have conflict between that, saying that you shouldn't be showering twice a day because it's bad for your skin and the natural oils. It's up to your lifestyle how you pick and choose what you should be showering or how many days you should be showering um, or how many times a day you should be showering is important. Getting a good body wash right now, I'm using Native, I believe it's coconut and vanilla is the scent on that. I also use other ones like a um, black African soap that's good too. I think it's unscented and they have scented ones as well. But I think it's really important to get a good body wash and be showering daily. Next up is nail maintenance. I think this is really important as well. Obviously, you don't have to go to a nail salon. You can do this at home with a nail clipper and just a nail kit to keep your stuff groomed and well done. Or you can go to a salon, get a manicure, a pedicure. It's obviously going to cost you money. But if you're trying to be more cost efficient, just do them at home. Next up is going to be dental health. I have an electric toothbrush. I believe it's by Philips. I use Tom's toothpaste, getting a flossing tool, and also getting a tongue scraper. I think a tongue scraper is super underrated and people should use it. And once you use it, you'll notice all the stuff that's actually on your tongue. So it's super important to keep up with your dental health. Brush in the morning, brush at night. Some people overdo it and brush in between each meal if you want to do that too, as well as flossing. I suggest the actual floss. I know I have the little mobile floss on this video, but if you actually want to get the, what is it, string? Get the string floss that you can just use at home. I suggest that over the mobile ones that I'm showing you on this video. Another thing is your skin routine. My skin routine right now, I'm using Versed. It has a cleanser, a toner, and a moisturizer, and also using sunscreen. I think a lot of people skip that step. So sunscreen is really important for one, me, I have to put it on my head because this is skin and outside. The sun is beaming. Even if it's not a hot day outside, it's important to put sunscreen on your face to just protect your skin over the course of time because as we know, we age and sun's gonna speed up that process. So having sunscreen on is really important. The cleanser, toner, and moisturizer is important. You don't have to go super expensive. You can find one that works for you. Some people switch it up during the summer, um, the winter months, because your skin is different, I guess, oils or textures during that time. So figure out something that works for you and stick with that at a morning and a night routine and your skin should be perfectly fine. Another thing is to have a good razor and good shaving cream. Again, everyone's skin is different. So what works for me may not work for you. I use the Gillette Lab heated razor. I've been using this for about four or five years. I tested it out some years ago. It works really well for me. It's a five blade system. Some people get irritation from that. You might wanna use a one blade, a safety guard, whatever works for you, get you a nice razor that you can use on a consistent basis to keep yourself well-groomed. And also the shaving cream, that comes into play with like your pores. The Gillette shaving cream, I can't really use too much because it kind of clogs and irritates my skin. So I use Cremo. I've been using that for a while now. Uh, it's kind of more on the expensive side, but it's worth it for me because it's a 90 day supply. So you should be able to use it up to 90 days. Sometimes it's a little bit shorter for me because I shave every single day for my head. I don't think everyone's going to be shaving every single day. So the 90 supply should actually last that long. Getting a good trimmer is also important to keep yourself, you know, manscaped, whether it's like shaving your chest, shaving your underarms, whatever you choose to shave. Right now, I use the Philips trimmer that I have. They also have other products that you can use as well to like trim up your beard, trim up your goatee. But finding a good trimmer, make sure that you're cleaning the trimmer too because you don't want to get any irritation from that, any hair buildup on it. So make sure to find yourself a good trimmer. That way you can keep well manscaped either up here, down here, legs, underarms, whatever it is you'll keep yourself well-groomed. Another thing, super important, a solid deodorant. Right now, I use aluminum-free, but aluminum-free is not for everybody. So if you have to go the aluminum route, that's perfectly fine. I am using one from Native as well in the coconut and vanilla scent. 
Two, it works really well for me. And again, if you have to go off and venture into other deodorants, try what works best for you. I've noticed over the course of time, sometimes after using, using a deodorant for a long period of time, your body starts to get used to it and you have to switch it up. So maybe keep two in the rotation that you're going back and forth from, but finding a solid deodorant is really important to your hygiene and grooming. Having a solid cologne collection, I don't believe in having like 50 different colognes because to me, that's just kind of too much. I think three to four solid colognes is good. Right now in my collection, I have the Creed, I have Coach, Versace, and then a Gucci one. Uh, I usually rock my Coach as a daily driver. The Creed, maybe if I'm going out and doing something, the Gucci too. It's all for occasions and you don't have to go super expensive. Creed is the most expensive one that I have and it's like $500. It does last up to one to two years, depending on how frequently you're using it. The coach one I have, I believe is like 80 bucks. It's a solid cologne. I know people talk shit about it because it's not a high priced item, but it works for me. Get what works for you. Don't follow the crowd. And um, yeah, just build a solid cologne collection of three to four colognes that you can have in rotation for different seasons or occasions and keep yourself well groomed. Staying moisturized is another thing that is important, especially in the winter months. You wanna find yourself moisturized at all times, chapstick at all times. I use natural raw shea butter. This isn't for everyone because everyone's skin type is different. Like I said, I use it because of the thickness and I don't have to use as much of it to get on my skin and it lasts all day for me. The lotions that have like the kind of watery feel or I don't know what um, oils and stuff they have inside of it, they just don't stick to my skin well and it gives this really weird texture. And I've been using shea butter for a number of years. A lot of people can't use it on their face, but I find it to work well to have my skin glowing good and looking well across the board. So if you want to find that again, it's on my Amazon list. If you like it, cool. If you don't find something that works for you. And those are my tips on grooming. You can take this, you know, as a grain of salt, put it into your rotation, get where it works for you. I'm not a expert on the actual products that you should be using. This is what works for me. So yeah, these are my tips on staying well groomed and Comment below if you have anything else that you would add to this rotation of things, but this is what I do on a daily basis to make sure that I'm not musty, make sure that I smell good, make sure my nails look good and all well-rounded. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.